Okay, here I am today uh, in my van getting the seat repaired. As you can see, there's not a driver's seat there right now. Um, hopefully it will go well and I'll have a seat that's working great um, by the end of the day or within a few hours. Into the night, coyotes sing at the moonlight. These open highways are calling our name, and now it's time for us to escape. You can see the seed is off of its base, getting its repairs. All right, as you can see here, we have the chair off the base in the van and uh, we're preparing some foam to fill in the cushion. We're basically trying to build up the cushion to where it's not broken down and, and falling apart anymore. It was a really windy day, uh, the day that we recorded this, so in a lot of places I've muted the sound. Uh, Marshall Lake. Yeah. And our campfire, our, we redid the kitchen in there. Remodeled your kitchen? Yeah. Those old Rexalls had this, the kitchen was so little that they were just almost junk. She got, she kind of got tired of living in this tiny little kitchen. Yes. I found for uh, out here, this is probably the best tool for this. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. Now this is, what's going to end up happening is this is going to stick out quite a bit. Okay. Not, not this, but this. Uh-huh. But when you put the... Pull it all together. It's going to push this back in. Nice. This is all going to be spray glued uh -huh. together. I just spill it and then we'll lay half inch foam over the top and down to here and then I'll trim it down a little bit but that'll glue this all together. That's hey. the theory in it. <laughs> I have a feeling you know what you're doing. <laughs> done it a few times, huh? Don't let <laughs> no. Yeah, I've done similar. Well, our... our yeah. Uh-huh, I did. That's what that's what uh, caused me to comment and uh, get you started on my project. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I thought I was going to have to use uh, uh, generator and stuff to run it. But it runs us off of our solar system just fine. Oh, good deal. <laughs> this glues. One of the problems I had with it, I, I glued stuff with it and then tried to change it. <laughs> it wouldn't work. Stuff, once it sets, it's... My son's a car painter up in Oregon, and this is what he recommended. Okay. 3M Super 77 spray adhesive. And it works really good. you got to let it dry a little bit. And then it really gets good and tacky. this and then I'll spray up in here and glue that back in. Like I said, then we'll put the foam over it. Okay, very cool. And it'll, when we first do it, it'll look really fat. Oh, okay. But once you get it stretched under and hog ring back down. So are you full time? Oh yeah. Yeah, we've been out here for about 15 years. Excellent. We started in Pretty much in quartzite, we we were 
wherever I drove the truck, I drove the truck for you to this grade, wherever the truck went, she would park RV. And then quartzite was perfect because it was our yard was in Stockton, so I would drive to Quartzite and it's a one day drive to Stockton and a one day drive back. So oh, okay, so you were able to basically live on the road while working as yeah. an over the road truck driver. Yep. Yeah. That's very cool. And it was perfect, but it, it did have its issues there, you know, it's like everything. All of a sudden they say, oh, you got to do the Montana run. Well, then I couldn't get Yeah, home. yeah, yeah. Heater goes out, or the water pump goes out, and they're afraid to touch it. Yeah. Yeah. Can do attitude goes a long way out on the road, doesn't it? And it's a way to look out here because if you are afraid to fix your own stuff, for most of us, the cost of having somebody do it is prohibitive. Yes. So. This is, this one I'm doing now. And then lay the foam over that. Because that will help hold in place. I like that idea. Yeah. But I will be getting into it from the other side, and so hopefully I won't put too much pressure on it today while I'm driving. <laughs> well, this, this, if you look, this foam is already is sticking pretty good. Stuff. Very good. Let me go cut a piece of material. Okay. I've got covered far enough. But that's again. What this will do, basically, this will hold this like in place. Okay, very good. You like being busy, huh? Well, yeah, it's better than sitting around. <laughs> My wife, she crochets, so she's always busy. Yeah. yeah Need me to hold on to that, or? Oh. Yeah. That end. You're gonna get a little bit of this on. Take me high. 
if I miss it or... Show me again how you put it in there and <laughs> stick the. Because you can do this yourself. You can buy one of these online. Uh -huh. just, just Amazon sells auto hog rings. And they're what holds your seat. Not all of them. The modern seats, they don't use hog rings anymore. So you have to sew everything. Uh. <laughs> but you got to get down in there and hopefully get clamps. Ugly hog rings. But <laughs> well, it's because yeah. these are actually fence hog rings. Oh, really? <laughs> it worked. Well, you can leave those in really nice and tight. Yeah, so these I suppose work. we can put some of the bigger ones to hold it at first and then some of the littler yeah. ones to hold it in tight, right? Get it. to the base. Yay. Yeah, huh? okay. Getting it put all back together, having to bolt it back on down there. That looking pretty good. Definitely much better than it was 